Now before we get into the specifics of their accusations, let's first provide a bit of background context. As many of you would know, Harry and Meghan signed a very lucrative deal with Netflix back in 2020 reported to be worth around $100 million. This was just a few months after they stepped back from their roles as senior working royals in the British royal family. Part of this Netflix deal included producing their own documentaries, movies, and shows. Earlier this month, the first project from their Arch Yule Productions was released, a six-part docuseries called Harry and Meghan. It gave viewers an inside look at their love story and decision to leave the UK for a new life in America. However, it's the scene shot inside their Montecito mansion that has sparked some major backlash from critics. Specifically, Australian breakfast TV hosts David Campbell and Belinda Russell, who present Studio 10 on Network 10, are accusing Harry and Meghan of not actually filming in their real California home. David began by saying on the show, I'm sorry but this just feels so fake to me. I hate to say it but I don't believe for one second that those drone shots were actually shot above their house. He then goes on to point out several things that don't add up or seem off about the home portrayed. For one, the property shown has a tennis court but online records show the Sussexes do not own a home with a tennis court on the lot. David also questions why there is no security shown around the mansion, even with drones flying overhead, if it was truly their home being filmed. Belinda agreed, saying, I mean the way they were flying that drone right over the top of where they said it was, if that was actually their house there would have been a million security people going nuts. She notes how high-level security would be required for a celebrity couple of their stature, yet nothing is shown on camera. Both hosts then bring up how little details about the actual property are publicly known, with most exterior shots only showing the mansion from a distance without identifiable features. They find this very peculiar considering Harry and Meghan have spoken openly about valuing their privacy. So presenting fake drone footage of a fake mansion would be a strange choice all things considered. David goes on to question, why would they make up a house? It just seems so pointless. It's weird putting out images that are fake when no one knows what their actual house looks like. It's just strange. Belinda believes it was done possibly for either visual appeal on screen or could just be standard Netflix production tricks to keep the real home private. Another perspective brought up is that filming inside could have compromised real security measures, so filming elsewhere provided an easy solution. However, all the secrecy does raise eyebrows according to the hosts. They wrap up by saying, I'm just really dubious that those drone shots were above their actual house. It just didn't feel right. So in summary, the key claims being made here are, the property shown does not match up to public records of their actual home. Security protocols seen do not reflect the high levels likely required for a couple in their position. Strange choice to present fake exterior shots when wanting to maintain privacy of Real home. Filming inside may have compromised security, so shooting elsewhere made sense practically. Overall just felt inauthentic and dubious to the Australian TV presenters. Now while they raise some interesting points of speculation, we should note that Harry and Meghan have not directly addressed or confirmed these particular accusations. Netflix and their production team have also stayed silent on the claims so far. So at this stage, there is no definitive proof either way as to whether interior shots were filmed at their actual Montecito property or elsewhere for the documentary series. Both options are certainly plausible based on valid safety, privacy, and production concerns that could be factors. Unless unequivocal evidence emerges or statements are made, it ultimately remains simply an allegation at this point in time. Though I can understand why viewing those scenes may trigger skepticism or doubts for some audiences like the Australian hosts. At the same time, it's also possible the exterior drone shots were indeed captured above their real mansion but just don't offer enough distinctive landmarks on camera to conclusively identify it as such. Privacy protocols could explain this vagueness as well. Overall, my view is unless proven false, there isn't really a major issue either way in terms of how it affects the documentary content itself. The series aimed to share personal moments illustrating their relationship journey rather than offer a Property Brothers-style real estate tour of their abode. I will be curious to see if Netflix, Arch Yule, or Harry and Meghan eventually respond to address or clarify these accusations in any way. Silence could be seen as an implicit admission by some critics. But transparency risks compromising security, so it's a tricky line to walk. Regardless of where it was filmed, though, I think most viewers would agree their Montecito mansion certainly looked spectacular on screen. A luxurious Pacific Coast estate befitting royalty to raise their young family. Even if not the actual interior, 
It provided inspiration for dream California Livy. What are your thoughts on this whole debate? Do you find the Australian host's perspective compelling or think it's merely speculative gossip? Could Netflix have handled exterior shots differently to reduce skepticism? Let me know your opinions in the comments section below. In conclusion, while interesting claims have been raised, until proven, the home shown in Harry and Meghan remains unconfirmed as either their real Montecito mansion or an alternate location. Both options could logically make sense given production and privacy protocols. Unless concrete evidence emerges one way or the other, it remains an open debate topic for fans and critics alike. Looking forward to see if any official statements are provided for further clarification down the track. Thanks so much for watching today's discussion and I'll catch you in the next video.